your first alert weather. It's a little bit overcast over Idaho Falls following a few showers through the morning hours and you can see that roads are just a little bit damp out there. We'll continue to see wet roads through the course of the day as we continue to see some active weather. As of right now, uh, no rain registering on our sensors. That's past for the moment, but more of it's going to be whipping around into our area. 46 is your current temperature in Idaho Falls, and we're just seeing single digit wind speeds all through the Snake River Plain as of right now, but we'll watch for more intense wind speeds. Just some breezy conditions by this afternoon as more storms whip through the area. Our low pressure system is centered just to our north in northern Idaho, and it's going to storms are just going to continue to circulate around that system throughout the course of the day. Just continually file it filing right on into our area. We have seen just a couple of lightning strikes this morning into central Idaho. We'll watch for more possibility of some thunderstorm activity as things warm up this afternoon, though it won't be getting quite so warm as what we've become accustomed to in the last little bit here. Uh, it's going to be a cooler day for certain as we see a shift in the weather pattern. And that, like I said, that low pressure system moves right over top of our area. Do watch out a little bit later on as we push some of this activity eastward for some severe weather opportunities for west or excuse me eastern Wyoming. We're going to avoid severe weather here just showers but uh, we could see severe thunderstorms even some potential for tornadoes into eastern Wyoming a little bit later on today. Here's a look at your Viper radar or your Viper cast that is where you'll see that. Like I said those storms will just continue to rotate around our area. We'll see thunderstorms by this afternoon but more thunderstorms and like I said even a few tornadoes are anticipated into eastern Wyoming and that activity will pick up this evening and last into the nighttime hours before calming down into our area. We'll continue to see that shower activity throughout the day today into the nighttime hours. In fact all the way into tomorrow morning before this storm system at least makes its exit. But pushing through the day tomorrow we will receive a new storm system into the area and we'll still be watching out for showers pushing not just through your Thursday but also into your Friday. Over the weekend we'll finally watch for storm activity to gradually taper off and we'll see a warm up that will have us back towards and even above our averages by Memorial Day. But in the meantime, we're going to see a few more days just like this with highs into just the 50s here. Overnight lows dipping into the 30s now for Southeast Idaho, watching for a high of just 54 degrees into Jackson with 57 as your high for Rexburg. Overnight lows also dipping into the 30s for Rexburg, but avoiding the frost that we will be seeing up towards the National Park as well as Island Park into central Idaho. Salmon will see 61 degrees as high. We're looking for low 50s into Mackey and Arco with nearly 60 degrees as a high for Pocatello, 57 for today in Idaho Falls. More upper 50s, low 60s headed through the next couple of days. In fact, all the way through Saturday before we start to warm up. 60s are scheduled for Monday and then we'll see sunshine in 70s into the Snake River Plain for Memorial Day just in time. We're just planning it just right. So hopefully this forecast holds out. Looking at continued chances for unsettled weather for Pocatello as well. It's going to be particularly breezy through the next few days through Friday before those winds calm down. Salmon's looking at that same pattern. Low 60s today and tomorrow, mid 50s for your Friday before the warm up begins that will see us towards 72 degrees by Memorial Day. Jackson will see 50s and even highs just into the 40s Friday and Saturday ahead of that warm up. 62 is your scheduled high for Monday. Today, 54. Dan and Caitlin.